It's a beautiful stadium. Slap bang in the middle of Gosford. Brisbane Water on one side, Mount Elliott on the other. The Fox making his second club game since returning from injury. The Roosters, they're the home team today. So we are set for takeoff on your Sunday ticket. Three games this afternoon. This the first of them. A short kickoff from the Bulldogs taken by James Tedesco. And they're inside the red zone again. The attacking 20. As Burton put it on the boot, there was a ricochet off the Roosters. Now it's scooped up. Play on the call to Vita Pangai Jr. Feasts on the screen. Maybe a little fatigue, but he looked like he could have done that with his eyes shut. So effortless was the pickup. No touch from Ryan Sutton. A beautiful scoop from Pangai Jr. And Matt Burton makes it 6 0. I think he needs to have a big game here this afternoon to, to cement his spot, but I wouldn't be dropping him. What you've got to do is think about why you put him there in the first place. Not that you don't drop blokes after one. Look, that that is a willing returner of the football there. Copped a belting, got the offload away. I wonder whether Cameron Seraldo wants pushed passes like that from Davida Pangai Jr. Yeah, I think especially in his own half. Just wait till you get up over the halfway line. Here's the collision there. It was always going to be on. We spoke about it, didn't we? Hungai Jr. running it. Well, here Hargreaves and Collins. Now Addo Carr is running it to Desco. Feeding Marnie and he's away. Reed Marnie, arm in the air. All the way towards Brisbane Water. Beautiful from the Bulldogs. What a start by Canterbury. Oh, well, back-to-back -back tries to the Bulldogs. And what a competitor he is, Reed Marnie. Sniffing around the middle, Addo Carr with the break, just slowed down, Tedesco came across, and Marnie gets the footy and sprints away. What a try, look where he started there, Marnie. Good second man play, beautiful pass there. Jeez, he's improved that back row of Preston. Addo Carr on the fly, pass back on the inside. The arm goes up, and Marnie scores. Back-to-back -back tries for the Bulldogs. He had some company on the celebration front. Addo Carr right with him. It's as if they were off for a swim on a summer day, running towards the water. This will be great. Look at these shots. Well, isn't it amazing to watch the fans? If you have a look at the fans there, as soon as Addo Carr got the ball in the clear, everyone stood as one. You know something's going to happen when he gets that clear space. And well done there from Marnie. Geez, a competitor, this bloke. And the dogs are in again. Ominous signs for Trent Robinson and the Roosters. Two tries to nil. He takes tackle five and it goes to Burton. Burton, a big torpedo high above Gosford. Up towards Ponga, who makes the take, gets away from the chase from Avarillo and succumbs to Jade Nockenball. Finally, a handful of Roosters in behind the ball. And that run is required after Matt Burton got a beauty away. See, it's amazing the energy you find when you lead 12 points to nil. Look at the dogs. They're up and about, aren't they? Led by Reed Marnie. She's got great line speed. He leads the way here for the dogs. To Penua's run, backed up now by Kiri. Sliding through to Desco on the inside. Shut the gate. He's gone. To Desco in. There's an answering try from the Roosters. Plenty of points early in this one. Gee, we've got some gifted players in this side. What a hit back here from the Roosters. The more experienced Luke Keary. Just straight through. Some feeble attempt at tackling. Their defence has been good early. Just over red. Got burn on the outside. The big front rower there. Max King, I think it was. Tedesco, once he got the ball in hand, it's all over. Sprints away. One line break. And they're straight through. It was great of him to identify there. Max King in the defensive line. Just got a little bit slow to get across. Just have a look at that. Just throws the dummy. King can't get there. Straight through Kiri. Look at Tedesco. I know you're itching to leap to the defence of the man they call Teddy after Wednesday night. I'll tell you one thing I've learnt. Never knock a champion. This bloke is a champion. I can't believe all the people that have got on. Only 19 minutes to light up. Industry Group Stadium. Swaliki kicks the extras. And now it's 12 points to six. 
couple of New South Wales teammates head to head right there. Down the short side. Good metres taken by Corey Allen. Yeah, that was clever play by Corey Allen because that O'Carr had been caught at marker. He went straight up the blind side where he should have been defending. Butcher finds himself into dummy half. Dupanua. Just his sixth game back from injury. to Dilly Dupanua. Gloria Hargreaves to Kiri, quick hands, Manu, Swaliti. Outside now for Allen down the sideline. Off Canterbury's leg, still there. Tedesco gets a double. They're back on level terms. Allen kicking, Tedesco finishing, and now the Roosters go back to back. But this is classic footy, great to watch. Swaliti goes through, it's a great pass. Allen with a kick back in field. Teddy just checks himself to keep on side. Ockenball can't go with him. And Tedesco scores his second. This fantastic record against Canterbury just continues to improve. And Corey Allen, the former Bulldog, playing his hand perfectly, only played three games last year for Canterbury. Corey, this is game number six since coming into the Roosters lineup this season. And even the bounce was right. Wally locks us up 12 on 12. You just know that James Tedesco was going to be a man on a mission today. Closed by Ockenbohr and Edwards. Manu shapes to kick. Tedesco gets a first half treble. Count them, Teddy. One, two, three in the first 40. So we're going to have a look at an obstruction no here. Try, You've got no there is try. an obstruction looking at uh, Matt Burden being impeded. So Ash Klein straight away had his doubts and sends it to the bunker for review. It's Nat Butcher on Just the outside. Just looking at Nat Butcher's run. He runs to the outside shoulder of Matt Burton and makes contact. Yeah, it'll be no try. James Desco then runs through the hole that's created by the obstruction. We have a decision. So that's a really easy one for Matt Noyan in the bunker. Yeah, Burton did well to hold his ground yeah, there. Buddy. Wins the penalty there for the dogs. So obstruction against the Roosters wipes the try off back to two. So half time sounds 12 on 12. Two tries each. Pangai Jr. and Marnie for the Bulldogs. In 10th, the Bulldogs below them. And both need to build on their tally of five wins so far. Who's going to get a sixth after the next 40 minutes? First carry of the second half. Communication breakdown to frustrate that man. I wonder what he said at half time. Down to you, Darcy McDonald. Well, Trent Robinson kept it pretty simply. Said that the Bruce's need to improve. Hang on a second. Addo Carr is riding Gosford up for the second time today. He burns Joseph Swale. He dives into the in goal. The dogs go the length to start the second half like they did the first. Is there a better side in rugby league than the Fox at full flight? Yeah, on the back of a, an error there, and it was a simple error. Turpin's dummy half pass, and the Fox lights up. The second man play, some good ball movement here. You talk about getting burnt. Gee, I've seen him burn plenty of blo blokes out on the outside. Swale he can't make the tackle. The Fox, once he's in open ground, is there a better side in rugby league than to see the Fox streaming up the sideline? Look at that for a great shot. Look at that for determination. Away he goes, the Fox. What a legend. What a try. And watch him celebrate the try early in the second half for the Dogs. First time they've had the ball. What about that for a shot? Sit back and enjoy an athlete like Addo Carr. Burton to add the extras, which he does. So Canterbury go back out in front. There's another carry by Morin there to set up the final play in the set via the boot of Olawapu. Across the ground to Corey Allen, the former Bulldog. And he evaded some sort of missile that flashed past him. He plays above his weight too, doesn't he, Morin? 
Only a little fella out there. Pretty strong oh, sort of build, but he's taken the roosters on. Good missile to avoid. Look at Davida Pangai Jr. Just that's the end of his run there. Corey did well to evade him. Now to Desco through the middle of them. Now he gets the ball away. Put the glasses down. Racing away to score the try on Club Nabu. Congratulations, Fetalanga Junior Ponga. Running off his fullback and running all the way to the in goal. Well, isn't it amazing? Ponga could have scored only a couple of minutes ago. But Tedesco, the fast man, out of dummy half. The footwork straight through the middle. And well done there by the young fella. Ponga supports and well, away he went. Left hand carry, sprints away. It's been you score, we score. Now it's the Roosters again. Tedesco in outstanding form. Blocker a moment ago, he put a pass down that would have seen him score with the line wide open. There was no way he was dropping that one. Yeah, didn't he take off too? Good support play too. He playing out in that left wing. So if you have a look at the break made by Tedesco, it's in the middle third of the field, the dummy half run. Just great anticipation from this young kid. Scored a try on Dubu. The Tigers against Brisbane. And now we see... Swali'i convert, and it's locked up at 18 again. Waddell. The completions. Canterbury nearly perfect. And the Roosters up on what they've been giving us so far this season. Here's Burton to Preston. Again held by Allen. And by Junior. With the leg drive, attracting three defenders, still he stays on his feet. Edwards long out of dummy half, through Burt Nolawapu at the line, Ockenbohr, Jaden Ockenbohr. Kiri had hold down low. Nolawapu, now Burt through the line. and Addo Carr, the combination reunited and the dogs profit. Well, what about the speed of Addo Carr? Let's have a look where he starts here. He's on the 20-metre line. He's got to cover some ground. It's a beautiful kick. The Roosters had to turn around and chase Addo Carr on the run. It's unbelievable speed. Look at the bounce. Beautiful one. Addo Carr in again. Try confirmed, the kick perfect. And when you've got a flyer like Josh Addo Carr, that's a live ball for a long, long time. What happened after the Ponga try running off Tedesco? 24 18, a converted try, the difference. They just leveled it up, the Sydney Roosters. I think it's, I think it's Tedesco just bobbing up, making the extra man. Well, you'll see him on both sides of the field here, I reckon. Joey Manu. The fresh-faced Sandon Smith at dummy half for Wahia Hargreaves. Couldn't free the arm from Moran to offload. Smith to Keary. And now Nat Butcher really steaming onto the ball. Takes a good tackle from Alamotti and Burton. Here's to Desco. To Desco to Swali'i. There's enough room for Joseph, who slides in, improves the position, and they'll kick to lock it up again. Well, I wanted to see Tedesco find a pass. That was brilliant. They got the numbers down the short side. The catch and pass on the outside. Swali'i gets the try. So Paul Alamotti making that tackle and looking a little stunned. They go away from him. Simple through the hands, and there's an extra man in. Joseph Swali from the western sideline to level us up for the third time today. It's been 12 all, it's been 18 all, and now it's 24 all. Kiri waits 24 metres out, right in front. Cool hand Luke knocks one over, and the Roosters are in front for the first time. It was perfectly hit, wasn't it?
time ticks down and the Bulldogs bravely today have come back from 12 nil down early they've stared a deficit in the face three times